especially when we get that FaceTime call from babe, we just want to pick up and be like, hello. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hawa Bunga. In today's video, we are going to be doing this no makeup makeup look using all drugstore products. I, I didn't use any foundation. If you want to know how I got this no makeup makeup look using all drugstore products and no foundation, just keep on watching. Thank you, Hawa from the future for the lovely intro. Love that for me. So as you know, I am doing a makeup, bitch, what are you doing? I'm doing a no makeup makeup look with all drugstore brands. Y'all, I was going through it the other day and I went to a Target to get some bubblegum. I ended up buying a shitload of makeup. Mm -hmm. I gotta get a stronger jaw. Mm -hmm. I'm using all this makeup to do my makeup today, but I'm gonna try something new. I'm doing a dewy look today okay pick up these eye patch from pixie or whatever to brighten up under my eye so i'm actually going to put this on my face first i probably do it while i do, have it on while i do my eyebrows the thing i'm going to use is my control freak by nyx it's the eyebrow gel i have a lot of these i bought a new one because i love it <laughs> I'm going to use this LA Girl concealer and I'm going to conceal under my brows before I even fill in my brows because that's how I get that natural looking brow or whatever. And this is in the shade Fawn. It's like basically my skin tone. Take a brush and blend it a little bit. Then I'm going to fill in my brow. I'm using the Precisely Brow in the color Ebony by Milani. All I do is brush my brows up and then I do, with the foot? Then I do small strokes and I start in the middle. Basically mimic the, mimic the shape or of my natural brow. So I'm done with my brows. I don't really, they're kind of dark, but we'll live with it. It's fine. Um, next, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Coreless Primer. Oh, I don't know these products. Oh my God. I mean, oh, it's very soft. It's very like silky. What is that? Bro, what is that? I mean like balls. So go to go in with the e.l.f. Illuminous Putty Primer. So this is supposed to give you like illuminating look, I guess. It looks like this. So buy it. This is about to be glowing. I'm not using any foundation, but I just want to cover any like imperfections, like the dark spot, like right here and stuff like that. Then that's close to my skin tone. So I'm going to use this infallible full wear, um, more than concealer in the shade Honey 415. This look, we kind of want our imperfections to show. This is a good look, so if you FaceTime you do, this is a good look. <laughs> Given just naturally cute like this, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, something chill where you just want to put on a little bit of makeup, but you don't want to do too much. You don't want to look like you have makeup on. And then, honestly, I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it out. y'all i had to take all everything off except for my brows and redo it because i was getting these little buzzy ball things but i think it's from the under eye patch or whatever so i had to take everything off and do everything back up until this point so we're back and we're good 
bring it here i want to brighten up under my eye a little bit and also contour my face since we didn't use a foundation so i have the neutrogena concealers i have the radiant cream concealer in one and then also three espresso so i'm just going to take a little bit under my eye that much and then I want to lift my eye a little so I'm going to put some right here to give me the illusion that like my eye is lifted I guess I heard somebody say it <laughs> to highlight the points of my face I actually picked up the sponge from elf um it's really I like the shape of it and I feel like it'll get in the corners so I'm going to try this sponge out to blend it out I kind of do like um, a tapping motion and a sweeping motion um, to really blend it because if this don't look blended it's going to look muddy because it's so dark. I blend it out with the brush and then I took on the blender sponge. And tap. I'm going to take the other end of the sponge and I'm just going to tap it on my face just to kind of blend everything together. Like I like using the brush but I feel like the sponge brings it all together. This might seem like a lot y'all but it's really not. Like it's really not. And since I'm trying a bunch of new things today, I'm actually going to try to set my um under eye with a pressed powder i never done that before i always use a loose powder but let's see because i want it to be very light so i'm using the this thing focus the cover girl um, pressed powder and this is in medium i'm gonna take the other side of the sponge the clean side of the sponge press into it so my skin I like that how will you think good girl I know what's next you in the back exactly that's why you my girl the next thing is to bronze so we put on a cream concealer so we want to bronze honestly if you want to you can skip the cream concealer and just bronze if you don't want to like cream contour and it would be just as good you know this is the black radiance true complexion finishing powder and milk chocolate I'm just going to set my contour on bronze in my face or whatever You can get a more precise brush to do your nose, but I'm lazy, so I'm not doing all that. So I know I wasn't going to use loose powder, but I do want my contour to be a little cleaner. So I'm going to take this Airspun Face Up Powder and I'm just going to clean up under here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. sit we're gonna move on to the eyes we're not gonna do nothing special because again this is a no makeup makeup look especially when we get that facetime call from babe we just want to pick up and be like hello this hold on let me take this um eyeshadow palette it's the bite size eyeshadow and pumpkin pie and i thought that was so cute especially since it's october and like whatchamacallit is around the corner halloween is around the corner 
so pumpkin pie you know that's a lady my brushes are over here so if you see me looking over here that's why going to use the lighter one this one I'm just gonna kind of like put that on my lid take a clean brush and dust off all of the powder I put down here kind of just to set out all the powders I'm going to use the, this Olay and cucumber water mist take up this rose um blush from Milani so freaking pretty look can go in with this blush um it looks pigmented just tap it okay yeah I'm just gonna tap it because this, this is very pigmented see that's a very pigmented I'm gonna do highlight the wet and wild mega glow I picked up this Ride or Die lip balm in just Peachy by Elf. Should I do this? Or should I do this Lifter Maybelline gloss? It's supposed to make your lips very plump. So, I think, mm, I think this one is more like, goes with my look and my skin tone and fallish. I'm gonna put on, um, Mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Glass Sensational Jaw. Last but not least, um, I'm going to use the Dewy Co Coconut Mist. I didn't miss it because, you know, I'm going for a dewy look this time. This is crazy. Here it is. Let's set this face. And now we're done. That was such a fun video to make um, because I use all drugstore products. Got all of the products from Target, so you can go to your local Target to pick it up. I'm still gonna link it below because I know even if you go to Target, you might not remember or see it or whatever. So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And for my subscribers that's already subscribed, what's up? Thank you so much for subscribing. I love you. And I will catch y'all in my next video.